I really love cooking, so I want to put y'all on to some of my favorite recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Tara Renee. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And when you do, turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video, okay? Also, you need to follow me on my social medias, all right? We are about to hit 70K, and then we're going to get to 100K, and I want to participate in some giveaways. And if you want to participate in the giveaway, you have to be following me on Instagram, okay? So, today's video is all about what I eat in a day. I'm super excited to go over every single thing, okay? I really love cooking, so I want to put y'all on to some of my favorite recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Before we get into the food, though, I really want to talk about how I start every single morning off, which is with tea, okay? And I also make sure that I'm taking my vitamins, so... Y'all, I got a little tea collection, okay? It ranges, but my favorites are turmeric and ginger tea from Trader Joe's. They also have a really good green tea, but I like anybody's green tea. I love green tea. And lately, I've been into, like, mint tea, spearmint, whatever kind of mint. I'm on it because people say that it really helps with clearing up your acne, and y'all know I'm trying to you know get on top of my acne and my gut health so i also like to add ginger lemon and honey just for flavor to make it taste good to all of my teas i cannot start the day without a tea um and since the fall and winter time is approaching i'm also going to switch out some of my healthy teas for chai tea lattes just because it tastes so damn good but yeah i have to start my day with tea and taking my vitamins i take a multivitamin i like the gummy version did y'all know that sometimes the pill versions of vitamins just sit in your stomach if you don't eat them with food because your digestive system literally like isn't working and it's not producing any like um any acids that break down food pills and things like that so i've been switching out the pill versions for gummies lately just because that's that just makes me nervous and uh i also take l glutamine just because people say it helps with the recovery process when you are working out so if you are a gym fitness girly a muscle mommy yeah you need to be taking l glutamine i'm sure it has other health benefits but those are the ones that i really take them for and don't mind this thumb <laughs> because i'm gonna do my nails after we cook breakfast okay so yeah Speaking of breakfast, I found this recipe on TikTok. I don't know if it's a taco or a tostada, whatever you want to call it, however you want to eat it. Um, do as you please, but basically all you do is put down a tortilla, put an egg on top of it, some cheese. Let the egg and the cheese like sizzle until it gets like crunchy on the outside and the egg is like still ooey gooey if that's your ting i know some people don't like many eggs and then you top it with whatever you want to top it with i'm probably going to do some avocado some cilantro some type of spicy sauce a little lemon squeeze girl i think that's gonna be real good is it happy or is it just me i'm so high and i'm smoking on this weed so i'm gonna take a I think I'm gonna cut into it just because it's piping hot so I'm not trying to burn myself but this looks really really good I just got pulled into a call so I'm eating super late and I'm super hungry I'm kind of nervous because I put this hot as habanero pepper sauce it's hot sauce girl from Trader Joe's it's pipe it's so hot like literally taste it can it focus I tasted it yesterday for the very first time girl it burned my damn mouth off, but this needed some spice. It needed a sauce. I'm hoping that the avocado calms it down, but she's like nice and crispy on the bottom. Got the egg, the cheese, the avocado, the cilantro, 
all on top. It looks like a little mini pizza right now, but cheers. Mmm. You have crunch? She's good. She's really good. I didn't mention it, but you gotta kind of put some splashes of water on the side of your pan as you're cooking it because you really want to make sure that the egg fully cooks on top and it needs that steam to like fully cook. This is good. It's spicy though. Oh my god. That's all spicy in him. But it's really, really good. Now that it cooled off and I'm super hungry and I don't feel like cutting it, I'm going to actually spread out my avocado across the entire thing. And I'm going to fold it up like a little pizza. I saw someone say on TikTok that you can do it like that too. Um, and it shouldn't be too messy because my egg isn't that runny. So y'all, I'm going to go crush this, okay? And then when I come back, we're going to talk snacks and drinks. And then we're going to get into lunch. Y'all, I'm so upset that I like that song, low key. I don't know, it's something about like the beat plus the way her voice is like chill and, and like not so spoken, but it's like a little recipe. I like it. Krishan, you gotta step your ish up, babes, cause that beat. Okay, but anyways, let's get into snacks. Regardless of if you're trying to gain weight or lose weight, snacking is really, really important. It can help either or. If you're trying to gain weight, you have more opportunities throughout your day to increase your calorie intake. If you are a person who counts their calories, I do not. And if you're trying to lose weight, snacking in between meals actually boosts and speedens up your metabolism. Um, so you're able to burn fat a little bit quicker. So I love snacking, especially if you're just doing things in moderation, if you're eating the right things. Okay. So I love salty. I sometimes have a sweet tooth, but when it comes to me snacking, baby, I love chips. Okay. So I got two options. These vegetable chips. Y'all probably like, girl, be so for real. These are good. They're from Trader Joe's. It's like parsnip and... Sweet potato, they are so good. The crunch is chef's kiss. They're so like lightly seasoned and they're really thinly sliced. They just taste so good. It's vegetable root chips. They're fire. And then also these sweet plantain chips. These are really sweet. So they got a little saltiness to them, but for the most part, they're super sweet. Um, I love them. Those are really good too. Um, other things I snack on is like carrots and celery with a tzatziki dip. Let me show you. Girl, this creamy garlic cucumber tzatziki dip from Trader Joe's is amazing. It tastes so good. I add a little bit of salt and pepper to it just for extra seasoning, girl, because some things from Trader Joe's just need a little pop. So yeah, and if I have a sweet tooth, I love these cookies. I'm blanking on the name right now. They're the uh, cookies that the airport, not the airport, the flights give you. Yes, the Biscoffs, baby. Biscoff cookies? Ah. These are so good. So, I don't even know if this is the same thing. They shape the same way. So, we're going to see what these taste like. Okay, if they good, I'll let y'all know. If they nasty, I'm going to return them. <laughs> Period. And lately I've been drinking this organic carrot turmeric juice from Trader Joe's. I need to make sure I'm drinking stuff that has really good ingredients and it's really good for me in between. Especially during the days when like I'm eating bad or I have like a, a cheat day. So yeah, those are some of the things I like to snack on. I hope these options help you guys if you are a snacker like me, but you just want to make sure that you're putting the best things into your body every single day. So now we're going to get into creating our lunch. It's 3 16. Um, so usually I eat my first meal around 12, then I'll eat my second meal around like two or three, depending on how hungry I am or how big my breakfast was. And then I eat my dinners around seven. I try to eat no later than eight, but sometimes I'll be slipping. Um, and hopefully if it's a good day, I try to make sure that my dinner is smaller. So in terms of portion, so I'll use like 
a bow like this per se that's like kind of tiny so I can make sure I'm keeping my portion small during the end of the day so right now i'm about to make a at home tuna cotta if you've never gone to joe in the juice and you haven't gotten a spicy emphasis on the spicy a spicy tuna cotta baby you're missing out okay don't got no one that back calling me splurge let me jump right out the curb yeah. make this right fly like a bird spin on the first and the third yeah. solid i'm keeping my word can't be my equal i don't know what you heard yeah. crack up the phone i swear keep me a stick if they purge yeah. I don't wanna they working my nerves. I'm about to pull us a serve. Yeah. Fucking this bitch like a perm. Yeah. Smack from the back of a perm. Yeah. Ice, the bird. Shit, you know, all you little turds. Can't take that dude with your turn. In my own life, we can't merge. Yeah. So, no hands you can learn. Yeah. Let's see how much you can earn. Yeah. Why me go put like the word? Yeah. And I ain't smoking no shirt. Yeah. I'm with it, baby, P. Litty. QP, QP, I love my bitches, it's pretty. They showing their titties, it's up to the ceiling. Yeah. I let her run through a million, I rock with her really, let's fuck on the bed. Yeah. I'ma get down to the gritty, then fuck up the city, the home of the villains. Yeah. SSC wanna fulfill it. Yeah. Smoke out the pound when I'm chillin'. Yeah. Trappin', I make me a killer. Yeah. Look, I got everybody wishing. Yeah. I hope you play your position. Yeah. I don't want nobody listening. Yeah. I see them whole with precision. Yeah. Give us my only decision. So I just made my tuna cotto. It's not as good as Joanna Juice's lining on the hand cap to you because their bread is amazing. I suggest using sourdough bread when you make this. Trader Joe's didn't have any more and I wasn't going to another grocery store when I was grocery shopping. But sourdough bread just like it creates the perfect crust. And like that's why Joan the Juice is so good to me because I'm a big texture girl and the freaking crunch from that bread is so so good. I do think my tuna tastes better than theirs because they don't really season their tuna and they like whip it so it's kind of like a fluff. But um the only thing that mine is missing is their bread and like some Tabasco. I need some Tabasco. That hot sauce from Trader Joe's is I'm about to return it because that thing had my mouth on fire. But yeah, let's dig into our tuna cotta. My man likes to make tuna cotta milk, so he likes to add cheese. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from the dairy as much as possible, so cheers. Mm. It's still really, really good, though. I'm a big tuna girl. I've been eating tuna all my life. Um, And that's another thing that you just have to do when you're creating meals for yourself is just you gonna you gonna have to reflect on what you used to eat like throughout your childhood and realize how you can make better, healthier habits going forward. So like for example, mayo. I'm now using organic mayo because I just realized this is my first time having it. It tastes exactly the same as other mayos, or you don't really taste the difference once you put it with the flavors in your meal. I'm using wheat bread instead of white bread because it's healthier for you. This is full of fiber, it's hundred percent whole grain. You know, sourdough bread is good because it has less gluten. Like, it's little tiny things you can do here and there. You can still eat the foods that you want, but make healthier decisions, okay? So, I'm about to go eat this and finish up my work day. It's Friday. We're almost done. And we're going to come back from this time to make our dinner. I'm going to try to keep it light, but I want to make sure that I add protein. So, I think I'm going to take out some steak to cook. I think I'm going to do like a steak bowl, kind of like chipotle at home, if you will. And I know that's going to include rice, so I'm going to try to limit my portions because I've had two forms of bread today so far. I had the tortilla and now I have the wheat bread, so it's just things like that. You know, I'm not counting my calories, but I'm paying attention to what I am digesting. So. Hey, you guys. So it is the next day, clearly outfit change girl what had happened was i forgot to take the meat out yesterday i'm never going to blame my kids for forgetting to take the meats out in the future when i have some babies because i'd be forgetting my damn self so i had to eat some leftovers and it was really really good i had made some pot roast girl with some rice and i ain't make no vegetable because my man said vegetables don't go with pot roast 
So, like, he was like, the only vegetables that go with pot roast is the ones that's inside the pot roast. I was like, ah. But the next few days later, I was like, I need some vegetables with this. And I made it with some uh, some mashed potatoes instead of rice. And, baby, I blew my mind away last night. It was so good. But I didn't want to include that because that's not what I wanted to cook for y'all. What I wanted to make was my at-home chipotle, basically, which I just did. And it came out so it smelled good and I taste everything by itself. So let's roll the clips on how I prepared it. So I'm about to make myself a real nice fork full of stuff because we got so many different compartments here like it's really like I just went to Chipotle so I got my um cilantro rice pick up a piece of my steak okay um I didn't make avocado like I, I didn't make guacamole I just put avocado with it I got some cheese I got tomatoes and cucumbers they don't be having cucumbers. They have pico. But I had a cucumber, so I wanted to use a cucumber. And then, y'all. Oh, I got some roasted corn. I used the roasted corn from Trader Joe's. It's already done for you. All you got to do is, like, warm it up and whatnot. And follow the directions. And got me some sour cream. I had. I actually had some of their. What's it called? It? The vinaigrette inside my fridge. If you know me, you know I can't eat Chipotle without the vinaigrette. But I wanted to, I taste my steak with the, I don't know if y'all have these around y'all, El Pollo's or like Sardis, any type of like Peruvian style chicken place. Their green and yellow sauces are amazing. So I'm going to try it with that instead. I, I already tasted it with my steak. And the seasoning that the marinade came with, I used the Trader Joe's carne asada. It paired really well with this better than the vinaigrette. So... Cheers, this is my first bite. This is the best thing I made this whole video. Fram. That is good, Fram. Mm. Oh my god, my battery is dying and I really don't want to talk to my mouth full. <laughs> but it's the only charged battery I have right now. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you found it informative and I hope the food was really good. If you tried these recipes, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want more videos like this, then let me know. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, mamas. Mm -hmm.